Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am here doing a random collective reading. This reading is for the collective, so it's not going to resonate with all of you, okay? Don't fret though. Um, just don't squish it into your world, right? Just, just take it how it resonates with you. Reverse the roles if you have to, okay? And thank you to everyone for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do like um you're just so nice to me you know i get a lot of positive feedback here um i really don't get a lot of negative stuff uh and um except for you know the scammers don't you guys i don't offer personal reads and i'm hardly ever in the comments for good reason um it's it's because of those stupid scammers you know so don't no, no, I'm never going to solicit anything, okay? So, um, yeah, just don't, uh, don't buy into that, guys. But anyway, thank you so, so much, you guys. You're always so, so good to me. And thank you for everything that you do that helps this channel keep growing. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is... Um, You know, honestly, what it feels like to me is, is people getting together, but it's not its not a happy celebratory time, okay? I feel like masks are coming off, though. Um, I feel like you actually see people for who and what they really are, people that you may have loved or had love for, um, for who and what they really are. And you're just, like, standing in your ground. I mean, look at the look on your face, right? with the lion and everything, who would want to mess with this person? Like, you mean business. You're standing firm. You're not dealing with, um, with the empty cups from people, especially after they've shown you your true, their true colors, you know? I feel like there may be a some kind of meeting or get together here though that's not going to be like a celebratory time um i feel like it's you know i don't know i i feel like yeah i feel like you're sick of fakeness from people number one that's the biggest thing that i'm seeing here Using your intuition, high priestess energy, not saying anything, but, you know, you don't have to. I'm feeling in this energy, seriously, it's like, uh, back off. If you're not coming to me real, don't come at all, especially those who have already shown you their true colors, okay? I think there is one person in particular, though, that has kept themselves quite hidden. I feel like it's this Queen of Wands. They're still being fairly fake as well. I feel like this person's living way beyond their means, could be a bit younger. Um, this can be considered the other woman as well. And I feel like there's a, there's a King of Coins here, a King of Pentacles that is in reverse. I feel like... Um, their stability is uh, pretty much ruined. I, you know, in the, in the upright, this is someone who's very grounded, very stable, and I feel like this is somebody who feels weakened. I feel like this journey's aged them too. There could be quite an age difference between these two, and I feel like these two are a couple, okay? But it, in reverse, this person could, um, they, they could have had a business at one point and lost it. They could have lost their financial stability. Um, they're definitely not grounded. They're definitely not grounded. This person's kind of stressed out. Uh, actually, I, I feel like they may even be responsible like for a lot of things here. Um, maybe within this situation or they're feeling very burdened when it comes to you i feel wanting to get things to you know this could also be this person too that they may want to get this to calmer waters between these two here but there's a major blockage if you look at this all the swords are in front of this person 
Some of them are pointing down. If they move forward, it's going to stop the boat. I, I feel like they can't move forward for some reason. Or they can't travel towards you. They could be having like travel issues, um, issues with their car, with flying. But I, you know, if we're talking about their relationship, I feel like that they, somebody here wants to get it to calmer waters, but there's such a blockage. I feel like this is a person, this masculine wants to come towards you, but I feel the blockage is this Queen of Wands here, wearing the mask, being fake. Living beyond their means, look at how fancy schmancy they are. And you, standing in your strength, you're not having anything fake. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for me, please. You're using your intuition, being very silent, listening to this, to the messages that you're getting from the divine about this. Yeah. I feel like um, this person knows it's, it's about to be over here with their situation. I feel like they're watching you also, seeing that you're just done. You are not to be messed with right now. You could be a Leo. You could be dealing with um, an earth sign. Uh, you could be a Cancer, Pisces, Gemini. You could be dealing with a Scorpio or an air sign, Aquarius. I feel like there's going to be a cutoff here in this relationship. I'm seeing somebody speaking their truth very quickly causing a big old storm i mean you know the knight of swords isn't very eloquent with his words you know what i mean a very fast talker this is somebody that comes in fast and just blurts out a bunch of stuff um i feel like somebody here is getting cut off because this person went from a king of pentacles down to a five of pentacles. You got to be kidding me. They were at one point in the king of pentacles in the upright. Now they're like this. I feel like this is really hurting this person's health. If you look at this picture, this is, it looks like an older man at first, but the wrinkles are all under his eyes, you know. I feel like this person's just endured a lot of freaking stress with this uh, Queen of Wands. And it's led this person, this masculine, right out into the cold here, low on their finances. I really feel like this Queen of Wands was all about the money here. All about the money. And you, with your intuition, I feel like you knew this. Okay? You knew it. You're, you're over here right now with your back turned. You could be um, you could be a water sign. Yeah, I feel like you've turned your back on the situation and put a cap on that beautiful love of yours. Because uh, you're intuitively, it's like you know, you can feel what your person, um, what's going on in the background here. You can feel it. There's that strength card again. Yeah, man. You're standing in your strength, in your truth. Like, you know. I feel like you were never given clarity. This person got, got hooked up with this Queen of Wands energy, right? And you, you just kind of were left. And it, you were never given any clarity. This is why you're like... You know, screw it. I am not dealing with these fake offers, fake love, fake people. I'm not dealing with it, right? Truth. You got your own clarity with your intuition. You know, and I feel like you knew it all along that this person, it was a third party situation too. You knew it. I feel like you, you spoke your truth about it and you were right. 
And I feel like you're also, you were also making the call too that this would somehow come to an end. And I feel like you're right about that as well. Yep, I feel like you were right about it all. You intuitive little kitten, you. You could be a Leo, you could be a water sign. Uh, Gemini, Pisces, Cancer. Yeah. I feel like um, you're in this energy right now where you've healed to, uh, to the point where you know you don't need anyone and you definitely don't need any offers from half-empty freaking cups. Or you're definitely not going to share anybody either. Uh, you know that in this energy here, you're the Empress and the Minor Arcana. You're really, uh, you're doing good, okay? More than good. You've got nine pentacles here. The most you can have in a deck is ten, okay? At the tenth pentacle, you've got it all. You've got an ultimate, like, that, that's the ultimate wish fulfillment, right? That's marriage, commitment, everyone's happy, gleeful, jumping around, generational wealth, you'll never have to worry about money, um, and you have that, that love, that partnership from someone, a soulmate, that's not going to leave, that's going to stick with you. It's, it's, it's ultimate in everything, okay? Um, love, partnership, finances, abundance, everything. You're one pentacle away from all of that. You've got everything. Okay, you've got everything, you've got everything you need, everything you want. The one thing you don't have, I shouldn't have said you've got everything. You've got everything but one thing. That one pentacle. That one perfect love offer, right? And when I say perfect, nobody's perfect. But perfect to you would be that it's not fake. That it's here to stay. That you know, people are being honest with you and true, okay? I mean, for real, you know exactly what it is that you want. And uh, you know what it is that you don't have. You're independent here, single, and you don't need anybody. And you know that. You're in a really good position right here, okay? Um... You can either stay in this energy or you can move forward, keep focusing on you, keep high vibing, and keep growing, right? Straight to the top. You, you've you got the energy here to be able to grow an empire. You really do. You know? And I feel like you're just like... You don't need this, you know? You don't need the burdens that this person is carrying here. But I think you did know the whole time that this would all happen. You called it. I feel like you called it. Your, in your intuition is lit. You were spot on. You stood in your, your truth. You, and you're back in yourself. You're like, I'm standing up for me, man. Yeah. And I don't, I, I don't know who would be fool enough to go up against you in this energy. I mean, look at you. You've got a tiger. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants to come and get you to calmer waters here. Yeah, but they need to deal with this Queen of Swords. I feel like this person's going to be turning their back on this. Per I feel like this is. these are the same people. This is your person wanting to take action. Doing nothing but watching you, staring at you, watching you, watching you, watching you, wishing they could, you know, get you to calmer waters. I feel like in this picture, though, you're kind of leaving this. See how you're looking back, stepping into a whole new, a whole new cycle here that's going to be abundant, right? All eyes are on you. You could be in the public eye, very intuitive, about to be very, very abundant here. You already are. And you're looking back at how, like, where you once came, right? 
you were stuck and trapped in all around all these burdens. This is like being stuck in your mind, right? A mental prison is what we call it in tarot world. This is like the eight of swords here, only in a boat. Okay. <sighs> For real. I, I feel like you were at once just under this person's control unable to speak, unable to have any kind of opinion, any kind of say in anything, and just stuck. And you're looking back on this like, my, my, how I've come so far, right? I mean, you really have. You've healed from all of this, and, and you're able to move forward now, and your person is watching this, wanting to take action, wanting to pounce, right? Turning their back on this queen of, well, this is the queen of swords, but I feel like it's the same person here. They're feeling very betrayed at this point. See, up here, they've got your person in the reverse. Here, they're in the upright, ready to take action, have a fire lit. They're feeling very passionate for you. They're ready to go for it, right? And now this queen of wands is feeling betrayed backstabbed, wants to talk, wants your person to talk to them, could be feeling very bitter, cold, because they're being cut off. They're being cut off. This king of pentacles, who was once financially stable, is, uh, is having a lot of financial struggles right now. This is poverty. And it's all because of this person. And once they get cut out, they turn into this, the Queen of Swords. Like I said, feeling betrayed, backstabbed, wanting the truth, wanting to talk. And your person's only going to be focused on you. So I feel like this person's going to be taking some kind of action towards you here. But now when they come to you, see, you're, you're not going to be in, in that loving, tender, giving nature. You've got a cap on this love now. Now you're standing up for yourself. You're putting your foot down. This is it. You're not accepting any fakeness. And I feel like this person in the upright is a very smooth talker, maybe even used to getting what they want. But they're facing somebody who is just not playing any more freaking games. Okay? Nor do you need to. You don't need anyone. And you don't want to go back to this energy. I know of a lot of... Hey, look, I'm the only reader who sees it this way. But I mean, I got to call him as I see him, right? And I'm seeing a guy having you in a boat, face planted in all of these burdens, covered up with a blanket, right? Hidden away while they have control of the boat. And you don't want to be in that energy anymore. Okay? So it's kind of like no more Mr. Nice Guy, right? That's, I feel like that's kind of your motto these days. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, because you've healed. And you're stronger now than you've ever been before. And you're about to step into a whole new abundant beginning. It's like going to be a whole new lifestyle for you. Okay? It is. It's a whole new lifestyle. Some of you could be moving away to a whole new location in the world. I, f I feel like, um, you know, you've been divinely led through this journey. Okay? It's a soul journey. And, and you don't get to this point here. You don't get to the queen or sorry, the Empress and the Minor Arcana, unless you've been body slammed, dragged through the dirt, dragged through the mud, had your name dragged through the mud, been hurt, been at your lowest point, kicked while you were down, just so you can get up, heal, and grow to the tippy top here. Like, for real, you've transformed. You've got to be divinely led to go through something like this. Okay, so yeah, I feel like um, 
I feel like you're being led right into a whole new life. I mean, this is the universe watching you, knowing that you've graduated from a really difficult last cycle with flying colors. You got it going on. Basically, you're the shiznit. You're the shiznit. This person knows it. They're cutting off this other woman here, this other feminine energy. Sorry, it's not gender specific. I'm so sorry about that. But they're taking action towards you now because they see you as the world. This cycle is coming to an end, though. And you're sitting here in Empress energy in the Queen of Pentacles throne, standing in your strength, in your power, in your glory here. Very intuitive. Yeah, man. You're very financially stable. I feel like, yeah, somebody's coming in. They're planning on coming back in here. But this could be lying. This could be even stealing. I mean, you know, let's face it. At this point, you're extremely attractive, but also you've got a lot of bling that's very, very sparkly, okay? Yeah, I feel like they, you know what? I feel like this person's really worried that somebody else is going to take you away, steal you away from them, yeah, because they want you. Yep, and you're moving forward. Thank you, Divine. Yeah, they're worried that somebody's going to, that there's competition involved. Other people, other suitors. Because you're, you're, you really are like amazing. Okay. Truly amazing. So, you know, this person, they know they've got to come towards you here before somebody else steals you away. Uh, they want to reunite. They want a commitment. You know, and this person, I'm telling you here, they we started off with the King of Coins in reverse. But in the upright here, it's the King of Pentacles, right? They see you as their match. They see you as their match. The one they want this Ten of Pentacles with. The only thing, the only thing you don't have to reach that Tenth Pentacle, or that Ten of Pentacles is that one. You need one more pentacle. And I feel like this person's coming in to offer that. You know, but they see you as their match. They want to reunite. This could lead to marriage. They're coming in to talk. I'm telling you, coming in. They're going to tell you that they want a victory with you here. They're going to be wearing their best duds, okay? Yeah, they've got some new kicks on. They're going to wash their car. They could have a white car, a green car. They could be on a motorcycle too. I'm kind of seeing this as a helmet. But they're coming in to give you this wreath. You are this person's choice. And they want to have a victory here. They want a commitment. They want to get back together. You're moving forward. I feel like this person could be barreling in towards you but I feel like this is you kind of on your way to moving forward with your life and they're coming in <laughs> does that make sense they're coming forward they're ending it with this um, feminine energy here they're ending it they're cutting them out leaving leaving that karmic feeling betrayed wanting the truth non-stop wanting to talk to this person yeah and they're coming straight to you i don't know though man it's up to you use your discernment uh i'm not so sure you want this person back honestly i we st the first card out here is people showing you your their true colors you realize that the that the love you gave to to these people before like i'm seeing these as people right their love wasn't true it wasn't it wasn't real the masks have come off 
and you're standing your ground against that. All right, what else can you show me? But this communication's coming through, telling you. And this is happening like all over, all across tarot world. It's just masculines coming back in, you know. Could be feminines too, some masculines, some feminines. I'm seeing a masculine here in a lot of regret because they just sat on this for far too long. They may have been waiting to hear from you. You know, this is somebody who uh, is waiting for their ships to come in with their back turned. You know, they know who it is that they want, what it is that they want, but they're not taking any action. I feel like that's where your person was this whole time. Just not taking any action, possibly waiting to hear something from you. But that didn't happen. You're standing your ground. And now they're in a lot of regret because they waited too long. They waited too long. You know, I feel like they're standing here wondering if you still feel for them anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah, but this person's about to come forward. I feel like they're worried. They're worried. They don't know how you feel about them. All right, what else can you show me here? And they're also worried about um, competition. If there's anybody else in the picture, if there's anyone else that you're talking to, you know, yeah, they don't like the thought of that. All right, um, what does this person want to say to the collective? What do they want to say to the collective? Well, once again, we have yet another masculine energy that is ending something with a karmic, okay? It's just reading after reading after reading, I'm telling you. Um, I want to feel that way again. Yeah, they can't forget how you made them feel. They know they made it. They know they made a mistake. I'm lost without you. That's this. I'm lost without you. What else does this person want to say? So many times I had the phone in my hand ready to reach out. I was ready to give us a chance for real this time, but then something happened. Yeah, look, I wonder if your feelings for me are the same. I just got done saying that. I wish things could be different. I regret lying to you. I'm broken inside. Yeah. Anyway, Collective, that's what I've got today for this quick little ditty. Um, I hope this helps. I do. I hope it resonates with you.